Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is July 8th. We have a little short covering in the greens, although corn now coming back to about unchanged. Wheat, though, still up two cents. Uh, but beans down again. We did start off a little better overnight, um, but now we're down a couple cents. Um, looking at good to excellent ratings. Corn coming in at 75%, so staying unchanged uh, with previous week. Same thing as far as the beans at 72%. But with corn at 75%, it's the fifth, the fifth best uh, start that we've had here in the last 28 years. So um, that's going to keep things on more of a, a bearish tone. Rallies are probably still going to be sold. Uh, but beans at 72%. There's only been one year out of the last 28 that we have been uh, better than where we are currently. So... Very good there. Uh, watching these funds, they continue uh, to sell. We continue to see selling pressure from funds. Yesterday, corn down. Uh, sold, well, the funds sold about 9,000 contracts of corn, 3,000 beans. They don't have a lot of longs left in the beans, uh, but wheat down about 9,000. So, um, as I mentioned with beans, question is going to be, are we going to see the funds actually go short this year? We know last year when we saw that break for corn, funds actually did go short. And we saw them get short pretty heavy before they came back in, and then we've seen them waffle both sides here of uh, uh, of, of unchanged. So um, we'll see what happens. They're still long in the corn. They're about neutral in the beans, and they're short wheat. So uh, keep an eye on that. Now the weather, cooler temperatures coming through over the next 10 days. Getting into this pollination period, it's the fourth coolest pollination if we see these temperatures hold. It'll be the fourth pollination our fourth coolest pollination since uh, 1980. So very similar years are going to be looked at as 2004, 2009, which we've had record yields on those years. So they're going to be looking for that once again. We've got a USDA report coming up on Friday, and uh, well, it's just a supply and demand report, but we will see what kind of yields USDA throws at us now. Keeping good to excellent ratings the way they are, chances are we probably will see them increase yields uh, if they if they do that. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that as we get closer to that report. Uh, as far as livestock, cattle 25 higher right now. Box beef choice up 6 cents, select up 11, so just up a little bit. Cash cattle, uh, we'll see where that ends up trading. Show lists were slightly higher this week. And we've seen box beef now slowing down. That could suggest that, you know, we may end up seeing some steady trade, maybe even a little lower. Then you read some of the news out there, and you've got guys talking that we could see 160 yet uh, as far as cattle. So that's just telling us that it's all over the board. So keep an eye on that. The feeder index, though, is at 214.58, still remaining very strong. Uh, so uh, we've got a very strong uptrend right now for cattle. We'll see where where that uh, takes us here this week. Now hogs, 10 cents higher. Uh, cutout values up 32, 134.52. We're seeing uh, cash markets remain very strong yet, uh, but we always we, we tend to see this profit taking here in the middle of the week and then find some direction as we get closer to the end of the week. Uh, so keep an eye on that, see where we end up going there. But I think we can uh, see a little bit of a setback yet, but any kind of a pullback right now is still a buying opportunity in these back months uh, as these PED numbers continue to show up. As far as the stock market, down 25 points right now. Gold up 6 Sil silver's up 17 cents, and the dollar right now about 4 cents higher. So if you guys have any questions today, feel free. Give us a call, 800-262-7538, or check us out on the web at allendale-inc.com. Hope you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you again a little later. Take care.